But well, US President Joe Biden has vowed to support Israel and has warned against countries interfering. Let me say this as clearly as I can. This is not a moment for any party hostile to Israel to exploit these attacks to seek advantage. The world is watching. I've also been in contact with the King of Jordan, spoken with members of Congress, directed my national security team to engage with their Israeli counterparts, military to military, intelligence to intelligence, dipl diplomat to diplomat, to make sure Israel has what it needs. Dorsa Jabari joins us live now from Tehran, a capital of Iran. And Dorsa, so Joe Biden there warning other parties not to get involved. How has that gone down in Iran? And indeed, how have events generally gone down? Well, there's been a, a sense of a victory for Iranian officials as a result of what took place on Saturday. We have just heard from the chief of staff of the armed forces, Mohammad Baghari. He's the second in command in Iran after the supreme leader of the country's entire uh, military infrastructure. He issued a statement congratulating the Palestinian fighters, and he also said that he hopes soon they will be able to take control of Al-Aqsa Mosque as well. Uh, he said that this is a monumental occasion, and it shows that really Israel is not um, as strong as many believed it to be. He also went on to say that the will of the oppressed people will be victorious. This is a sentiment that we've heard over the past 24 hours from a number of officials in Iran uh, as a result of the events that transpired uh, in Palestine and Israel. Now, uh, we also saw a number of tweets that went out on the Supreme Leader social media accounts. Um, one of them was a minute and a one minute video that they put together of the events and the scenes that unfolded uh, in um, Gaza and southern Israel, in which the Supreme Leader is heard narrating the footage and saying that really uh, congratulating and commemorating this historic event in terms of a victorious one for the Palestinian people and the Palestinian fighters. And he said that he went on to encourage them to continue their fight against their oppressor, that is, the Zionist regime, as uh, he refers to Israel. Um, the sense here is that this is certainly going to be an important mo um, event for not only the Palestinian uh, fractions, but also for Iran and their support of those uh, movements within Palestine. Uh, for the Iranian system and the establishment since 1979, Israel has been certainly public enemy number one. At every unveiling of a new uh, rocket or missile, uh, the officials here make a point of uh, highlighting how long it would take for that missile to reach Tel Aviv. Uh, so I think this is certainly uh, going to be seen as uh, an important event. The Iranians have been very careful, though, not to get involved uh, specifically in terms of logistics or sub financial support, officially anyways, for the time being. We'll have to wait and see what happens on the ground and how the officials here will react uh, as a result of that. And of course, Hezbollah, as we've been discussing, it launched those mortar rounds on the Sheba farms. Everyone very well aware of the fragility of the situation. Certainly. And I think uh, over the past few years, uh, we've seen the strong support Iran has had for Hezbollah. They're uh, considered to be brothers, as we've seen footage, rare footage, after the assassination of Qasem Soleimani uh, during the war with Israel, between Hezbollah and Israel. Uh, we saw Qasem Soleimani recounting how he um, helped assist the Hezbollah commanders during uh, those days. Um, and this was a documentary that aired after he was assassinated. So it gives you an idea of how close uh, Iran's uh, military establishment is, and of course, the Revolutionary Guard and the Quds Force, too. Hezbollah. And of course, whenever, uh, as rare as it may be, whenever Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, visits uh, Iran, he makes sure to see the supreme leader. Uh, all these signs telling how close the two are to one another. I think it's going to be very, very um, important to see what happens in uh, Lebanon between um, the, that area that is now um, seeing some activities between Hezbollah fighters and Israel. Uh, Iranians certainly will be monitoring that very closely. It will also have ramifications for Iran. There are people, the general public, is certainly concerned about the events that have unfolded. As, and it, 
in terms of what it would mean for their own safety down the line. Israel has over and over again said Iran is one of their main uh, security concerns and threats uh, to the uh, establishment in Israel, uh, to the whole country. Uh, so I think what happens in the coming hours and days will certainly be very important for all sides. Uh, daughter, thank you for that. Daughter Jabari in Tehran. Back with you later, daughter. Thank you.